I'm not really a convertible guy. But there's something special about driving a performance car with the top down. <laughs> I'm Chris Muddle Academics, and today we're going to take a look at a 2020 BMW Z4 S Drive M40i. Winter is never the optimal time to review a convertible, but hey, at least it's not snowing. <laughs> Spending a lot of weather-related time in the garage this week is a 2020 Masano Blue Metallic BMW Z4 S Drive M40i. And you've got to admit, top up or down, it looks really good. Standard features include a black soft top with heated glass rear window, shadow line exterior trim, M Sport brakes, M Sport differential, wind deflector, and aerodynamic kit. Inside, you'll find a three-spoke leather-wrapped multifunction M steering wheel, heated 14-way power front M Sport seats with memory, heated steering wheel, live cockpit pro featuring navigation with iDrive 7.0, 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen, 10 and a quarter inch instrument cluster and natural voice operation, rear view camera, auto dimming rear view mirror, Sensatec dashboard, aluminum Tetragon trim, dual zone automatic climate control, adaptive M suspension, paddle shifters, connected package pro with real-time traffic info, on-street parking info, and BMW remote services, Apple CarPlay compatibility with one year trial, and comfort access keyless entry with push button start. Safety features include the usual airbags, rollover protection system, an active guard featuring frontal collision warning, automatic city collision mitigation and braking, and speed limit info. Optional equipment consists of the driving assistance package that includes park distance control, active driving assistant, active blind spot detection, and lane departure warning. The premium package adds heads up display, wireless charging, Wi-Fi hotspot, and remote engine start. The executive package provides the nice sounding 12 speaker 464 watt Harman Kardon surround sound system, ambient lighting, automatic high beams, and adaptive full LED lights. Wrap things up with the 19 inch double spoke Cerium gray wheels and Masano blue paint and you get a total MSRP of $70,245. As I mentioned earlier, the exterior of this new Z4 is hot. And even though it's bigger than the previous gen, it still maintains a 50-50 weight balance for enhanced handling. Even the trunk is 50% larger than before with 9.9 .9 cubic feet of space, whether the top is up or down. And there's a through loading system with integrated transport bag for longer items. Providing zip for this Z4 is a 3 liter M Performance Twin Power Turbo inline 6 cylinder that makes 382 horsepower, 369 pound feet of torque. An 8 speed sport automatic transmission with electronic differential and paddle shifters sends power to the rear wheels. <laughs> Under the right conditions, this car can move too, reaching 60 miles per hour in just 3.9 seconds with an electronically limited top speed of 155 miles per hour. Fuel economy isn't too shabby either with an EPA estimate of 24 miles per gallon city, 31 miles per gallon highway, and a combined rating of 26 miles per gallon. Auto academics saw an average of 24.5 miles per gallon during testing on premium fuel. You'll be happy to know that the top opens and closes with the press of a button, requiring only 10 seconds to complete the task. And if you feel so inclined while driving, the action can be completed at speeds up to 31 miles per hour. As we prepare to climb inside, I'll give you a moment to appreciate just how nice it looks.
The ivory white Vernasca leather contrasts well with the darker trims, and those large screens look even more impressive in this two-seater. The steering wheel feels good in your hands, and the stereo is strong, but you should consider the white leather carefully. While it looks nice, apparently it stains easily if you regularly wear dark pants or jeans. You can see what happened to these seats in less than 5,000 miles. And no, it wasn't me. <laughs> so now it's time to take it out and see how it drives. But first, let's put the top up. You probably know that there are a lot of comparisons out there between this new Z4 and the new Toyota Supra since they're both based upon the same platform. Unfortunately, I can't say much about it because I've never driven the Supra. Now that we've got that clear, what I can tell you is that this car drives fantastic. Think Mazda Miata on steroids. You get all the goodness of a convertible on a well-balanced chassis just with more power. <laughs> and more sound too. When the top is down, every crackle and pop is amplified in Sport Plus mode. The engine is responsive and the brakes are strong. And the transmission does its job well, even if it never gets quite as angry as the exhaust does in Sport Plus mode. The suspension is pleasant enough in comfort mode, and as you'd expect, it gets a little choppier in the sportier ones. And as you'd hope in a luxury convertible, the cabin is fairly quiet when the top is up. But also, as you'd expect in a convertible, the top-down experience is best. The Z4 doesn't have any of the neck warmers or other fancy tricks that the M850i convertible we tested had, so you're more limited to reasonable temperature driving in this. Wind isolation is fine when the windows are up, allowing you to hold a normal conversation or talk on the phone. But 70 degrees and sunny are when this car can really shine. I know it doesn't look like it, but we've had some rather miserable weather over the past month or so. And you should know that the sign of a good convertible is when you want to drive it every day. Even if you have to keep the top up. So there you have it guys, the 2020 BMW Z4 S-Drive M40i. All you need to know is it's a well-balanced, fun-driving convertible. It looks good, and the upgraded engine makes it that much better. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know if you prefer convertibles or coupes in the comments section below. Finally, if you haven't done so already, by all means subscribe so you don't miss what we have coming up next. I'm Chris Model Academics. Thanks for watching.